Okay, great that you guys are ready. And let me recap what we have learned from last class because uh, at the same time, I need to uh, rethink what I've actually taught in last class. So in last class, uh, we are, by the way, we are still in chapter four, but empat buku catatan pertama. And I remember I talked about journal arm, all right? Then we talk, we went into journal has as well. Okay, so in the journal has, we talk about journal berlian, journal jualan, journal pulangan berlian, and pulangan jualan. All right, so in total, now you know am, berlian, jualan, pulangan berlian, and pulangan jualan. These are the five journal that you know so far. Yes or no? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. Okay, yes, give me a yes in the chat box. Okay, and I assume that by now you should know the format for each and every one of these uh journal. All right, so you ready? Kau team journal am, kau team journal berlian, jualan, pulangan berlian, and pulangan jualan. The word scouting, scouting means done. All right, so we've done all this thing. All right, okay, then later we'll proceed. To journal penerimaan tunai and pembayaran tunai. But before that, okay, let's do a quick, not really quick, but let's do a question quickly. Okay, so let's do question uh, this five together. Okay, so that you can gain a, a deeper understanding into this uh, journal arm and uh, all this belian jalan and uh, pulangan belian pulangan jalan. Okay, but uh, I want to change this question as here is stated as uh, anda dikandaki merekodkan urus niaga di atas uh, ke dalam jenah khas. Because when you're saying jenah khas, uh, jenah khas is quite wide, included penerimaan tunai and pembayaran tunai. Okay, but here I don't want you to do penerimaan tunai and pembayaran tunai yet. Therefore, uh, I will change it instead. I'll make it something like a question, uh, like you have to do journal, um, okay, then B, journal, belian, C, journal, jualan, donkey, journal, pulangan, belian, dan journal, pulangan, jualan, B, C, D, E, journal, pulangan, Sure. Ah, yes, so now we have A, B, C, D, E, and we have to make all this Urus Niaga become. You mean we have to record Urus Niaga the Atlas, Kedalam, all this genre. All right, so let's go. Okay, so, so, uh, so let's start from the top. Okay, question five. Maklumat di bawah adalah urus niaga perniagaan max. Okay, so this is the year 2021. Start with June 1st. Great. So these are all what? These are actually uh, all the baki baki. Or we call it the baki awal. The balance in the beginning of the year. We call it the baki awal. So what? Is this Baki Awal actually? Okay, so this Baki Awal uh, is actually the figure that we bring from last month. Bulan yang uh, depan. Is it bulan depan? Oh, bulan yang... I just forgot. Yang lepas, yeah. bulan lepas. Yeah. Okay, I forget about the word. Uh, bulan lepas. Okay, so let's say uh, May... The date before June 1st is what? The hurry before June 1 ialah May 31. Right? Okay. So, May 31st is last month. Right? The last day of May. Okay. So, in the last day of May, tonight the bank, there is 58,000. Tunai di tangan, there's 5,000. Kenderaan, 25,000. Perabot, all this figure. 
is actually the figure at the end of May. Okay, and then from May 31st, the next day we enter into a new bulan, then that will be what? June Satu. So from May 31st, you bow to June Satu is the same figure. All right, will be 58,000, 5,000 for each and everything of this. And this is what we call the Baki Awal. Baki Awal for June. Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a U for understand. Okay, then we do, 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 do. Then in June 30th, apa yang ada for tunai, kenderaan, perabot, lengkapan, kenderaan, sorry, inventory, ABT, ABV. Okay, what is remain or what is the balance at the end of June 30th? Then we will call it a baki AQ for bulan June. Okay, then when we move to July, okay, after June will be July. So if we move to July 1, then all this figure in June 30th, we will move into July 1. And now we don't call it Baki AQ. In July 1, we call it Baki Awal. Can you see or not? It's actually continuing. It's like a cycle. That's why you got something called uh, Gitaran per accountant is a cycle actually you keep doing 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 and doing uh, so it's keep repeating that's why if you have any friends or relative they are doing accounting this specific job is actually in um call it a financial recording something like that i got book bookkeeping or transaction recording okay all this thing is actually very repetitive okay you keep doing it uh, every year, every day, every month. So it's quite, um, I would say it's quite common. Yeah, it's quite easy to do. Because you just do the same thing. So after June, Satu, the Baki Awal, you go to June, last uh, day of June, July will be July 31st. Then the, the figure at July 31st will be Baki Ahil. But the same Baki Ahil, when you bring down to August, Satu, it becomes Baki Awal because this is the Awal of the Bulan, Bulan Awal. Okay, so when I come back uh, to what I said just now, so this kind of job, especially this kind of uh, bookkeeping or this uh, we call a transaction recording is actually very simple to do. You don't need a degree to do all this stuff. Okay, you don't need degree, you just need to understand how to do it and then anyone can do it without a degree. Okay, that's why this kind of job, bookkeeping or transaction recording, anything that involves recording is very easy to be replaced by AI. What's AI? Artificial intelligence. And now I think you guys are Better than me, artificial intelligence. Ah, so all you see now, they say got robot, la, then got uh, all this technology that comes into play, right? So all this bookkeeping transaction, as long as they can do it uh, repeatedly, okay, keep doing the same thing, okay, involving the same thing, same issue, Okay, then this kind of job is very easy to be replaced by all this AI. Just scan the document and then the computer will uh, do it by themselves. All right, all these uh, cloud, uh, what, uh, cloud accounting, uh, AI, machine learning. Okay, so it's very easy to be replaced. Then you'll be uh, asking like, okay, so, so you want to uh, why why? Uh, then is it still relevant to become an accountant in today's world? Absolutely, yes. Why? That's why you need to study something that is 
more than this stuff. So all this basic stuff can be replaced by the machine, definitely. But why are we still learning it? Because before you go to the top, you must learn the bottom, you must learn the basics. So what is uh, the, the syllabus included in the SPM is actually the bottom, the basics for you to climb up. So you see a pyramid like that. Do you think that the top here would be the top if there is no bottom? Of course, you need to build block by block. So at first, you build something like that. And then on top, you add your knowledge. So this is actually the basics that you're learning in SPM. The fundamentals. Ah, and this part is where a lot of people are. At. That's why they are very easy to be replaced by AI or machine learning. ML. Okay, so where you want to go is you should go above this line to here or even here. So here is where all the top, the CEO, the CFO. Why? Why can't they be replaced? Because they have the knowledge that cannot be replaced. They have the skills that cannot be replaced by the AI. And that's why they are here. Do you get what I mean? If yes, give me a yes, please. Okay, so what I'm trying to uh, say is that you don't stop here. Okay, so if you really not become an accountant, you don't just become an accountant because anyone can be an accountant. Okay, you don't want to be an accountant. If you really want to be in the accounting world or the corporate world, you should be a chartered accountant. Uh, that's a different thing. This chartered accountant has the skills to be here. While well, here is all the so-called accountants. Uh, because to become a chartered accountant, you need, you need to learn new skills that uh, is unique, special. Then only you can come here. All right, so uh, back to our topic. Uh, we are actually... Okay, yeah, yeah. So let's continue. Okay, so da, 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 da. okay, so we really know this thing. So uh, I was talking about the Bakiawa. So all these are Bakiawa in uh on June first. Okay, then as you all know, always all the Bakiawa on the first day, all these thing later we record in where, in the journal um, J A. Yes, yeah, so uh there you record J A. If you have printed out your notes, then you can put that JA. And then let's move on to 3rd of June. So you menerima invoice untuk barang niaga daripada pembekal azim and syarikat muni. Ah, so this question is a bit different as what we did, uh, as what we have done from last exercises. So here it says menerima invoice. Then you have to think. Siapa yang menerima invoice? Is it the buyer or the seller? Ah, so now you have to think. Am I a buyer or a seller from here? So you must know that siapa yang mengeluarkan invoice and siapa yang menerima invoice. So for all this document, normally is the seller. Yang mengeluarkan invoice. So it's seller keluarkan document. While it's the buyer that menerima, that receive document. You have to know this thing. Okay? So when you see a menerima invoice, then we straight away know that this is. Kita yelah, kita beli. Kita beli barang niaga. Okay? So after knowing that kita beli, then we have to ask ourselves, is it secara tunai or secara credit? 
And this, you don't even have to think because whenever you see, you see an invoice, we still we know that invoice belongs to secure credit. Therefore, this is Bali Baroniaga secure credit. And when you see a Bali Baroniaga secure credit, this is actually recording in the journal Berlin. Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a, a U in the chat box. Uh, so this is where we have to go back to what we learned from chapter three doc document. You think I, I wasted all my one or two classes to explain about the document just to uh, waste time. Uh? Just to like, oh, because this is in the syllabus, that's why we learn it. Uh, okay, actually it's not important. So, but then I still need to talk about it because it's in the textbook. I think I'm that free. Uh. Okay. Why am I seeing it? Why, why am I spending all the time to explain the chapter three for you? It's because it's actually relevant to here and the following chapters. So I told you, okay, let me draw out the thing again. For those that I have forgotten. All right. So when you see there are two types of uh, document, okay, I would say. So uh, when you beli barang atau menjual barang. All right. So when, and okay, let's say about chara dulu, okay? So we can beli or jual barang niaga two way, All right? Secara credit and secara tunai or check. As you know. Okay, so when it is secure, do not your check. Then what document? Bill tonight. So when we see a bill tonight, we know that memang secure tonight atau secure check. Okay, but then when you see a secure credit, then we have to issue something called invoice. Uh, so when you see an invoice, we should already know this is secure credit. Uh, that's why I know it to adalah secara credit. And how do we know if it is beli atau jual secara credit? Look at the invoice and see adakah kamu menerima atau you uh, mem mengeluarkan. Okay? So if you menerima the invoice, why? Because this is the buyer, the seller. So if buyer give I mean, sorry, if sellers sell barang to buyer, okay, because sellers sell things, right? So when sellers sell things to buyer, then you have to mengeluarkan invoice. No, because it's a seller that need to give the, uh, the document. You think, uh, okay, logically thinking. Yeah, you don't have to think on this thing now. You don't have to confuse yourself. Now, I ask you now. If now, okay, you go to popular. Okay, you go to popular, what popular? The bookstore popular, all right? The red color one called P-O-P-U-L-A-R, popular. So you walk in there and then, I don't know you, okay? Maybe you go there and look for books if you are that, uh, uh, what uh, that smart or not really smart, but you are really the kind of person that reads. Uh, okay, then you go there and then you get, you grab a book and then you go to the counter and then you pay. All right? If it's not a book, maybe you just went into the popular just to buy sweets, gula gula candy. Okay, I don't care. So as long as you buy something from the popular, okay, you pay money and then what do they give you? They give you a document. Who give you? The seller. To you, the buyer. Imagine, uh, if you go to the popular, you want to buy the gula, or you want to buy the book, and after you pay, and then the popular, the seller, asks you to give them document. <laughs> make sense or not? Don't make sense at all. Do you get what I mean or not? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. So at that time, if 
really uh, like popular the, the worker there and say, eh, uh, Mister, uh, uh, please give me a document to, to, uh, to show that you actually pay me. How are you going to do out a, a document and give to the, the staff there? Impossible. You can't you go and take out a paper and write, I actually pay to popular and so on. No. Is the seller, the popular, ready all the stuff? So when me as a buyer pay to the seller, then the seller have to straight away give us the prepared document. That's why it's always the seller that gives out document to the buyer. That's why I come back to our question here. Okay. Mm, where are we? Okay. Third, that's why I said when we monorema, I don't care what it is, when we monorema a document, we always assume that keep the other la the buyer, the B, the buyer. Ah, all right. And what you are receiving, you're receiving an invoice. So you actually bully and invoice is a secure credit. So you bully secure credits. Therefore, we know that if it is a bully secure credit, we have to record in general bullion. Uh -huh. So that is number three for you. If okay, give me a three in the chat box. Okay, great. Yeah, let's continue. So now we know this is JB and number fifth, pemilik mengambil barang niaga bernilai 600 untuk tujuan promise. Now, when you see something like mengambil barang niaga, pemilik semua. So first thing you came into your head is actually what? Ambulan. But wait, the keyword you have to read the whole sentence. Do we have the keyword like untuk kegunaan sendiri, untuk sendiri or untuk uh, peribadi? Something like about my own self? Not really. Untuk tujuan apa? Tujuan promosi. Okay, so if this untuk tujuan promosi, this is actually a uh, record in, as a uh, account. Promosi because we are using the Baron Yager our stuff. Let's say I'm selling shoes. Okay, I'm selling shoes. Uh. Okay, my shop, I buy and sell shoes. So now I see that I have extra shoes like A Force Jordan uh, 1 or 2 or 3, uh, third generation. I don't know. Okay, then maybe now I want to do something to promote my Kodai. So what, what I'm going to do is I go to my Instagram and I post a post and say, uh, like, share, and tag three, uh, three of your best friends. And then you get a chance to win this pair of shoes worth 800 ringgit Malaysia. Now, so you're using this, you're not using this pair of shoes to wear yourself. You get what I mean? You're, you're using these shoes to promote untuk tujuan promosi. So it's actually for business sake. You know what I mean? So when we have mengambil barang untuk tujuan promosi, then this one, this thing, remember it, we record in journal um, J. Okay or not? If okay, give me a five in the chat box. Five in the chat box. Okay, high five. Very good. Great. Okay, now let's move on to the seven. Okay, then seven. Beli alat tulis sebanyak 220. So when you see like beli alat tulis, then so you think like, oh, okay. So beli barang, so I record in general belian lah because beli mah. Okay, slap your head. You need to read carefully. Secara apa? Is it secara credit? I told you, if it is secara belian jualan, uh, this belian or jualan, it must be secara credit. Then only we can record in journal Berlin and journal jualan. But if it is secara, the keyword, keyword, two nine. If it is secara two nine, then we record in where? Yes, Divina, you got it right. It should be recorded in buku two nine. But this question, do we have to do buku two nine? The answer is no. So we can actually ignore it. 
Yeah, no, you get what I mean or not? If yes, give me a seven in the chat box. Okay, good, good, good. Da, 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 da. Okay, so always remember that. Okay, sometimes they will treat you and give you something like Bali, bam, 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 bam. Then see charity. Man. Okay, if you don't know, of course, you record in general. Then, okay, then uh, you. Dollar. Okay, so now we go to nine. Nine menjual barang secara kredit kepada the 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 pada harga senarai five thousand five hundred kurang ten percent. So when you see something like that, menjual barang secara kredit. So secara kredit memang jenuh dah J, and this is jual barang ni. Okay, so this is in where J J jenuh jalan. Simple. Okay, give me a nine in the chat box. Number nine. Okay, great. Okay, let's continue to eleven. You beli barang lagi daripada syarikat sejati dengan chat bernilai two thousand two hundred. Okay, type in the chat box and tell me where do you record this number number eleven. Jenar beli, you put JB. Jenar jalan, you put JJ. Okay, pulangan beli, you put J P B, pulangan jalan you put J P J, jenar am you put J M. So for eleven, where do you think should we record this thing? Berlian barang niaga daripada syarikat sejati. Okay, J B, come on, come on, don't be shy. Okay, J B. Okay. Ah, lot of people say J B, J B. We. How come there's Fuku Tunaya? Uh, Fuku Tunaya. But then so on, here the, the question only give Jenna Am, Jenna Berlin, Jenna Jalan, Jenna Pulangan Berlin, Jenna Pulangan Jalan. Don't have Fuku Tunaya. Okay? So even the Sonan Tabagi Fuku Tunai doesn't mean that there is no Fuku Tunai in the Sonan. Just like Tadi, when you look at the seven, okay, this is a chart tonight. So this one is BT, but there's no BT here. We don't have to record this. So now when we come back to this 11, secara apa? Secara apa? Dengan check. When dengan check or secara check, what? You pay on the time when you get the barang yager. Meaning this check is actually the similar thing as to two nine. That's why just now, the 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 the. Okay, so here I say you believe really John, you got secara two nine or slash secara check because they're the same thing. Just that for two nine, then you record in account two nine. For check, you record in account bank. But the way to record it, okay, we still show into where buku two nine, right? We don't record in. Uh, general Berlin or general Jalan because they are not credit. Okay, but good try. All right, so like that you can learn. All right, if you don't reply at all, you scare you 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 get wrong, then you won't know. All right, so this I feel we don't record because this is a chair check, so we should record in buku tonight. Okay, not if okay now you learn it. Give me a eleven in the chat box. 11. Uh, so, cheat you, huh? Okay, let's move on. Okay, 13. Pemilih membawa masuk perabot peribadi bernilai 920 ke dalam peningkatan. So, this one je lah. Pemilih yang bawa his own perabot. Maybe it's a sofa or a TV. I don't know. Okay, so you, not TV lah. TV is actually into something about electronic. But uh, perabot lah. Okay, like major. Okay, so he bring in his own major 920 into the business. So this is actually a modal tambahan. So whenever you got ambulan, a two-jump promosi, or a modal tambahan, we record in JA. Jena all right, okay. So then we move on to 15. 13, okay or not? 13, okay. Give me a 13 in the chat box. Okay, okay. Then give me 13, 13, 13. Okay. And to make sure each and every 
Rusnegger here, you understand why we record that way. Okay? They are just like a, a blueprint, satu conto for you to record for this thing. So next time when you approach other questions, they are almost the same stuff. Okay, so if you understand here, you definitely can do in other questions. They are just asking the same thing in different ways. So if you know this, definitely you can know that. Those. Okay, after the thing, we move on to 15. 15, you beli bank niaga secara kredit. Bezilah, beli secara kredit, beli BJB. Okay, 17. Belian barang niaga sebanyak 3,700 daripada syarikat Melati. Okay, so this one, they didn't say is it a secara kredit or secara, uh, secara tunai. But you see a belian barang niaga and daripada there's a name here, syarikat Melati. So we take it as a general belian as well. Okay, but you will say, eh, tadi for 11, you see belian barang niaga and daripada syarikat sejati juga. Kenapa tadi JB? Because it's secara check. If others secara check, you straight away know you don't have to think twice. Buku tunai. Alright. Okay, now we move on to 19. Menerima imuas again. Sebanyak 2,500 bagi barang negara daripada pemborong. So, as I said, just now, when you menerima invoice, menerima means we are the buyer, meaning kita beli, and invoice meaning secara kredit. Therefore, this is beli secara kredit. If beli secara kredit, we record in JBS. So, okay, then 21. You beli sebuah komputer berharga 2400 daripada syarikat Tekno. Right? Now, you beli sebuah komputer. Is komputer our barang niaga? Bukan. Komputer is our a set asset bukan semasa. So if you look back to the um the table that I gave you here so when you beli atau menjual aset bukan semasa, secara tunai or check, then is in buku tunai or check lah. I mean, um, in buku tunai lah. But if kita beli atau menjual aset bukan semasa secara kredit, then we record in general arm. Now, the question is, is this secara kredit or secara tunai here? Okay, so when we read again, menerim, uh, where are uh, Here. Oh, 21. Beli sebuah komputer berharga 2400 daripada syarikat Tekno. They didn't say is it secara credit or secara tunai. But we use the same rule. If they didn't say is secara tunai or check, then kita anggapkan this is actually secara credit. Because they have name here as well. Alright? So this one, because it's a computer, as a bukan semasa, so we record in JA, Journal Arm. Is it okay with you for 21? If yes, give me a 21 in the chat box. All right, what about the rest? Only one, two, three, four, five, five, the rest. Come on. If you don't understand, then you ask now where you don't understand. All right, for 21, this is a computer, this is an asset bukan semasa, and this is secara credit. therefore it is a journal up. If it is secara tunai, then we have to record in buku tunai. Now, why don't we record in journal belian? Because you believe, ma? because I told you, in journal belian, we record apa yang berkaitan dengan barang niaga. Okay, how do you call it a barang niaga? Let's say my business is a tasut business. Okay, I sell shoes. So shoes is my barang niaga, my inventory. So when I beli kasut secara kredit, then I record in general belian. Okay, but then if my business is a shoes business, I begin beli TV. Then the TV is a Asset bukan semasa. The TV is not my barang niaga. So when I do that, the TV, then I have to record in the journal arm. All right. That's why here is a contoh lagi. So this is in the JA journal arm. Okay, now if you're okay, give me a twenty-one in the chat box. All right. Okay. So you have to be careful. What is your barang niaga and what's 
What is your bukan barang niaga? Okay, now we move on to twenty three. You jual, you see, they will tell you if you jual barang niaga, they will say menjual barang niaga bernilai kepada incik cash. Same thing. They didn't mention if it is a secara tunai or secara kredit. Okay, then we will assume that this is secara kredit because the name is already given here. Alright, so you jual secara kredit, then that is a J jenah jualan J J. Then twenty five. Memulangkan barang niaga kepada So, siapa yang pulangkan? Kita yang pulangkan So, this is a pulangan So, we know that this is journal pulangan Okay, so sini lah siapa yang memulangkan Saya memulangkan kepada dia So, I am returning the barang niaga to him So, imagine lah If saya jual Barang ni aja boleh tak saya memulangkan? Don't make sense. When do I get to pulangkan barang ni aja? When I beli barang ni aja, saya nampak eh salah, then I pulangkan. You know what I mean? If saya jual barang ni aja, if I sell, boleh tak? After I sell, I pulangkan lagi. Okay? Tak boleh. Okay? You only get to pulangkan when you beli. Therefore, this will be a journal pulangan after you beli, after belian. So, it's called a journal pulangan belian. JPB. Okay lah. If okay, give me a 25 in the chat box. 25, 25. Okay. Great. 27. Encik Ganesh memulangkan baru negara rosak. Can you see lah? So, when the customer pulangkan, then they will say, siapa yang memulangkan? So, when Encik Ganesh pulangkan barang rosak, meaning they're returning to us. So, when? So, when ada pulang, then that, that surely this is a JP, jenam pulangan. Pulangan berlian or jalan, then you need to use logic lah. So, if Encik Ganesh maksudnya, after I jawabkan kepada Encik Ganesh, barang Ganesh, then Ganesh pulangkan barang. Therefore, it's after jalan. So, it is called a JP. J, journal pulangan John. Alright, so that is 27 for you. And lastly, the 30, pemilih menggunakan tunai pejabat berjuna 2800 untuk membeli barang niaga. Okay, so dia beli barang niaga secara apa? Gunakan tunai. So whenever you see tunai, close your eyes. This is buku tunai. Okay, don't close your two eyes are. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So you close one eyes are. Okay, at least one eyes are. Okay, so you put a BT. Okay, so BT out. You have to record here for this question. But then if you go down to like questions like, yeah, I don't have the whole question. But if you have whole question, then they will involve like what? Uh, the jenna arm, jenna bulan, jalan, pulangan bulan, pulangan jalan, then ada buku tunai lagi. Ah, so. If that's the question, then you have to record in your own buku tonight. So that's all for uh, this question. I mean, the up to the third. So now let's move into the uh, jenna has or the jenna arm, jenna berlian. Okay, so this is question five. So make sure you remember the format well. All right, so let's go from 5a is given. So this is a journal arm. So journal arm format ada tarik, ada butiran. Lepas tu, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then the debit, credit. And here is the folder. All right. And Then you are gaga to the line. And okay, we are here.
Okay, so first thing, when you have the junior arm, like this one, then here the debit credit, RM, RM, and then here the thyroid will be first uh, with the same row as your RM, RM, this will be your year. If this year, what? 2021S is given here. Okay, so if it's 2022, then you put in 22. So first thing first, record all your Baki Awal into your journal. So this is uh, June 1. Okay. So whatever you see here, you throw it here. So tonight the bank, you don't copy the whole thing at tonight the bank. So tonight the bank is actually what? The account bank. Tonight the tangan is actually tonight. Account tonight. Right? So here you put bank tonight. Okay, we put all the asset on top first, then only the liability at the bottom because we need to put all the debit, then only the credit. Okay, so uh, then kendaraan. Okay, this is set. Kendaraan perabot uh, lekapan inventory. Okay, this is quite nice. Okay. Kedai Zahid. Then you got account belum bayar. Okay, so now this account belum bayar is a liability. Then a liability, then you need to skip. I told you a space of your thumb. So about here like that. So you then you write account belum bayar. This is syarikat. Okay, let's show in the figure first. So the bank is 58,000, 5,000, 25,000, 5,400, 3,400, 34,000, 5,400, and then 24,300 for inventory, 1,600 for the company trimmer, and your, ah, see, this is a liability credit. So in the credit side, we show in 6,400. Okay, so I'm going to do next is, uh, you see, I think imbang dah. So if you skip here, if you do uh, jumlahkan, sini, I told you the debit and credit must always be the same. Same. Okay, so now if you jumlahkan the debit for June 1, you get 122,007. Hundred, and if you do not all the credit, you get you get six thousand four hundred. Imbang da is it the same? Da sama. If it is da sama, meaning something is missing out because here the jumla must equal to this figure as well. Must be the same like this one. So something is missing here. So what is it? So here I need to use the. The jumla, the 122,700 minus the 6,400. So it's the 116,300. Okay, so what is this actually? This is actually your the missing part, which is your modal. Remember, always must have modal in your baki awal. If someone that bagi you modal, then you have to put it in yourself. And so this one will call it the asset. Liability done model. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put the Baki. Let's say Baki asset liability the model. Pardon. See, so it's just that simple. Okay, so this is your keterangan. Okay, after that, after done, then one line. So, do you understand the whole thing? If yes, give me a more doubt in the chat box.
M O D A L model. Hmm, good, good, good. Okay, good job. All right. So always remember after the one line, and then you draw one straight line. Okay. Then we move on. If other, then we continue. If no, then uh, that's it. Okay. Then uh, maybe you need more. Okay, so normally lah, for myself, if I were I were back to form four and form five doing my accounting, my principal accountant, because uh, then yeah, now I mean you're using your tax pad and then you need to draw one by one, you know, skip the lines. Okay, because now am I uh for what I'm doing, we are all using like a laptop lah. Okay, exam are all online based. You know, we just type in the the answer, you know, just straight away enter the answer into the, the laptop. Okay. But for you guys, you need to run paper and then submit uh, to the, the SPM, the marker, and then the new mark. And then after, you know, how many days, how many months, and then they only return back to you. Okay. So that's why you need to learn this skill, which is very important for your accounting. It's called the... Uh, the, 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 the assumption skill, I would say. We need to assume, okay, how many lines you need to skip. Okay? Meaning like, how do you, how much lines you need. Okay, but in exam, la, okay, because in exam, we got uh, unlimited resources of papers. Okay, because they always prepare with you the, the papers, right? Especially in SPM. So during SPM, you don't need to be stingy or frugal okay you just go all in what do i mean by that so in i'm talking about spm huh? okay so in spm for like each and every of these uh journal you just journal arm for one whole page one paper one whole page and then at the back then you put journal boolean and then another paper like like what do i mean by that okay so let's say here is one paper front here so journal arm, one whole part for journal arm. Okay, even though it's only here, you only do up to here, but you skip the whole thing. Why? Because let's say you, you predict like, uh, you just leave only lines up to here, and then you should really do journal boolean here. What if later something goes wrong here, or you need to add something here? Then, touch you cook, only this part. All right, therefore you don't care because SBM are, only the last paper, the finals of final. Okay, so just go all in. After the journal arm here, then go to another page here. Journal Berlin, whole thing. Or you think uh, journal Berlin not that much. Okay, maybe journal Berlin half. Okay, the top half. And then journal Jalan, the top bottom here. Sufficient. Make sure you leave more than enough so that you, you won't regret. At the moment where you found eh. Uh, then you know what is uh <laughs> what is it like to feel like uh this is hell. Okay, you need to maybe you need to rewrite again, get a new text pad, and then you need to redo everything. You don't have to do that, you just leave sufficient amount of spaces. Okay, so but for here, you just agaga if you want, you can actually do the same thing. Lah. Okay, so for me here, maybe I'll leave uh okay, something like that. Lah. I think this is more than enough. Lah. Normally, general arm. Um, you just need one, maybe two, three, at most, another four. Okay? Around here. Okay, now we move on to general, uh, general Berlin. So this is uh, B. You get, you get what I mean just now? Right? If you get it, you give me an F for following. You're listening, following. So give me an F in the chat box. Okay, so journal Berlian. Okay, then do out the format first. Start read. Put it run. Uh, form view. Maybe I'll put journal here. Okay. 
So this is a format for your journal bullet. Okay, so what I normally would do is uh, I would do at the same time journal Berlian and journal Jolana. Okay, because I know normally Berlian and John uh, have more stuff to record. Okay, so like for journal Berlian, maybe if something like this long questions, I would skip like uh, after the diary here, right? I would skip like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, eight is more than enough, but if you want to be safe, Make it after eight, nine, ten. Okay, about there, and then we put we go to journey journal. Uh, I'm gonna cheat here. So I just copy and paste, but you need to write out tarik, put your run, folio, jumla, draw the lines. Okay, all right. So you guys ready for uh, recording number three? So if yes, give me a yes. So make sure you're already done with your general bullion, prepare out the, the table and also the table for general genre. Okay, all righty. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so same thing for your Joomla, must have RM. These are all the basic stuff, all right? So yeah, year 2021. Okay, now look at 3rd of June. Okay, 3rd of June, Manima, okay, actually we really go through, right? So you see, JB, so General Berlian, June 3rd. So, Pembekal Azim, write the name, Pembekal Azim. Also, Sharikat Murmi. Okay, now look at this question, Cavalier. Kita menerima invoice untuk barang eight thousand six thousand six hundred, and then here they say 10% discount yang agak dibenarkan. Look Cavalier, ah. this is discount yang agak bukan discount tunai. Right, tadi dia is present any other question? No. Okay, so this is discount niaga. All right. So meaning, and do you remember the amount invoice we talk about? Uh, from the uh document chapter chapter three, meaning the amount in the invoice is actually the amount selepas tolakan discount niaga. Okay, nah. So meaning. This is the Hager scenario, right? If you still remember the Hager scenario, right? So if there's a discount negative, then we minus discount negative. Then only the final, this is called the uh, amount yang perlu bayar, or we call the Hager invoice. So this is the figure, the amount yang akan ditunjukkan yang kat bawah situ, at the lowest bottom. That is the amount shown in your invoice, and that is the amount that we have to record into our journal bullion. Okay, and in this question, they give us this figure, and they say this is actually from the invoice. So with that being said, we know that this is actually surplus discount. So this discount we can actually ignore it, unless the question specially say that this is actually the Hager invoice. I mean, sorry, Hager scenario. Then. We have to record, we have to minus the 10%. But for this one, don't need to. You can show we put 8,606. All right, okay. Third, done. We go to fifth, general arm, JA. So we go to general arm. So June 5th. We're going to be to join promo C. So, think, ah. Now we talk about debit credit because this is general arm. General arm involves debit 
And credit, as I said in last class, I mentioned before, when there is a Uber Seneca, there must always be a debit and credit. Okay, in and out. Okay, now think for this uh, number five. So when permit mengambil barang niaga, meaning this barang niaga is actually coming out into where? Into promosi. You get the motion out of barang niaga into promosi. So mana yang masuk? Promosi yang masuk. Therefore, if masuk is debit, meaning we have to debit promosi. So if we debit promosi, therefore here, we debit promosi. Account promosi. That's a, one account is for account promosi. So we debit promosi in the debit side, we put how much? 600 ringgit. So at the same time, out from where? Out from the barang niaga. But here, please take note, we don't credit inventory, we credit berlian. This one, please highlight. This is very important. Because many students, we think that, oh, this is actually from Barney Angus, so we straight away credit inventory. No. Because when we come to this level, we are not in BAP 2. In BAP 2, when kita beli Barney Angus, kita job Barney Angus, we go and plus inventory, minus inventory. That is for BAP 2. BAP 2 level is very low. Those BAP 2 is for small, very small business like Kedah Runcit. Those uncle, auntie, they don't know how to record all these uh, debit and credit. So they use jadwal bersamaan per accountan. That's why it's very easy. If you can't score for that part, are you actually in deep trouble? Because that one is just plus and minus. It's not in debit and credit. Right? Therefore, if there's any out or in, you draw out the beli barang yaga, they straight away throw into inventory. Satu account saja inventory. But when we come to this level, chapter four onwards, uh, we, we talk about debit and credit. In debit and credit, like for Barang Yager, when you buy Barang Yager, we don't straight away debit and credit into inventory. We actually have to go through a process, a, a few steps. All right? So actually, when you come to this level, when you beli Barang Yager, kita uh, debit Berlian. Because when you buy Barang Yager, the, the Barang comes in, so we debit Berlian. So if from here I ambil barang niaga, I take out my stuff, then I credit my barang niaga because it comes into barang uh, berlian and then it goes out from berlian into promosi. That's why I credit berlian, 600. Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a you please in the chat box. A you for understand. All right, so from today onwards, forget about inventory for a while. All right, when you bar believe Barang Niaga, you debit Berlin. When you draw Barang Niaga, you credit Jualan. Okay, we don't use inventory. Okay, so when I ambil Barang Niaga from the, I ambil Barang Niaga, then I have to credit my Berlin. So that is how it works. All right, so debit promosi, credit Berlin. So what is this? Then you put uh, the keterangan. So actually, uh, you mengambil barang niaga untuk tujuan promosi. That's it. So that, one line. Okay, for this one, right, you'll be thinking, hey, sir, do you have to do this thing? You have to uh, jumlahkan one line and double line. No, we don't have to. This is actually, actually, we don't have to do this part one. Okay, but in your textbook, in exam, you can do it. But it's not necessary. It's not compulsory. The reason we are doing this is just to inform you, to remind you that at the end, the answer must be imbang. Because for a student, we forget about modal. Ah, that's why we put this jumlah so that you can compare the total jumlah of uh, debit and the jumlah of credit is it imbang. If the imbang meaning something is missing up. Okay, after this part, the baki part, when it comes to here, 600 and 600 memang imbang lah. That's why we don't need this uh, one line and double line anymore. We just put it like that, 600, 600, then next. All right, so fifth done, seven, we skip. Now we go to nine, nine is JJ. So we go to journal journal. Can you see how fast it is? So 20, 21. 
and so this is uh, on when on June 9. So Jau kepada siapa? Uh, kepada kedai. Ask me. Ask me. Okay, look at this one. Ah, uh. pada harga five thousand five hundred. This is harga senarai. And kurang 10% discount. Ah, this one you need to minus the 10%. So the 5,500 minus 10% is how much? So 5,500 times 10%, you get 550. Okay, so 5,500 minus 550, you will get 4,950. So 4,950 here is the jumlah. Now, this is the Haggis scenario that I mentioned just now. Hmm? Oh, yeah, this is Haggis scenario. It will see here at right? Haggis scenario, this one. Okay, now, here, uh, if okay, give me a nine in the chat box. Nine, nine, nine. Great, let's move on. After 9, 11, we skip because this is book tonight. Okay, we go to 13. 13, look at here. JA meaning this is journal arm. So, journal arm, June, June 13. So, what is this? Pemilik membawa masuk. Okay. Pemilih membawa masuk uh, apa? perabot peribadi. So, ini bawa masuk lah. Just logic lah. Debit, credit lah. Okay. So, when pemilih membawa masuk perabot, meaning the perabot is coming in to our company. It's coming in. So, in, the term in accounting is debit, meaning we have debit apa? Debit the perabot. So, here, Debit, put perabot. Okay, then what do we credit? Credit from where? From the permile. So what is the account that represents the permile? Modal. So we credit modal. How much? Uh, 920. 920. So what is this? So you can say membawa masuk. Perabot peribadi, peribadi untuk kegunaan perniagaan, or you can show it ke dalam perniagaan. Same thing lah, or untuk kegunaan perniagaan. Tapi okay lah, understand lah. If you ask me at thirteen in the chat box after completing this one on your open up okay let's move on after 13 done 13 15 jb here we go to general blend see how convenient it is so 15 so you put 15 there uh beli barang yang kisah kepada pembekal aman so this pembekal aman Okay, pembekal aman. Pada, ah, see, harga senarai again. Harga senarai 10,000 dan kurang 20% discount. So, when you see harga senarai and other discount negative, then you have to minus. Alright? So, the harga senarai is 10,000. We minus the discount, which is how much? 20%. So, 20% 20 of 10,000 is 2,000. So, you minus 2,000, you get 8,000. So, 8,000 is the harga invoice. So, 8,000 here. So 15 done, move on to 17. JB again. 17. Pelian barang niaga sebanyak 3,700 daripada syarikat Melati. Now, this one, they sure will give a figure that they say is a harga senarai or there's any discount, then sure we take 3,700. Mm -hmm. Then uh, 17 done, we go to 19. 
the rain voice JV again. All right, so here 19. This is a uh, Bumborong. Ahmad. Here. Ahmad, 2500. Okay, after 19, 21, JA. All right, so we go up again, go to JA, June uh, 21. So what is this? So try to understand it again, then we do the debit and credit. You bully sebuah computer daripada syarikat tech? No. So when you bully sebuah computer, you bully computer, meaning the computer will be coming in, right? Computer, you will get the computer in your in your business. So the computer comes in, in then you debit. So you debit computer. Computer, we don't write computer. What is the accounting term for this computer? We call it the alatan perjabat. So after debiting the alatan perjabat, then what do we credit? Credit. Secara credit, right? So you think, uh, whenever there is secara credit, there always must be a name one. Because kita hutangkan uh, kepada orang tu. Alright, so here is the daripada siapa? Uh, syarikat Techno. So meaning we put the name Syarikat Techno. And to be more specific, you can put account belum bayar. Account yang belum bayar. Syarikat Techno. So alatan pejabat 2400. 2400. So here you can say, uh, membeli computer. This ABB account belum bayar. In other words, this is actually secara credit. So that, you add more lines. This one okay not? Okay, give me a 21 in the chat box. Good. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's quickly move on to 23. 23 is what? JJ. So go to JJ, Jenna Jualan. Uh, okay, Jenna, Jenna Bula. Should be Jenna Jualan. So here, uh, 23rd. Jawa kepada siapa? Jawa barang niaga bernilai uh, 1,200 kepada Encik Ganesh. Okay, Encik Ganesh. So how much? You jawa kepada Encik Ganesh, 1,200. Okay, after that, 25th. Jenna Pulangan Berlian. Okay, you got Jenna Pulangan Berlian. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, Jenna Rule. But of course, you know that definitely we really come up to 25th, right? So, definitely there won't be uh, any more than like 2 or 3 Jenna Jordan, right? But, you know, sometimes you just uh, you follow consistency, meaning here 10, 10. If you want, you can actually make it like maybe you skim another five lines or whatever up to you because it's your work, all right? But make sure it's there and neat. So this uh, Jenna Pulangan Berlin. Same thing, you got Tarik, Bukuran, Folio, Jumlah. Okay, Tarik, Bukuran, Folio, Jumlah. So you bulangkan kepada siapa pemborong amat. June 25th. Pemborong. You mentioned pemborong amat. So sometimes it's very important that we refer back to the question. Okay, we refer back to the question. So let's say pemborong amat, right? So you look back, it's uh, here in the question. Where do we uh, buy from? Pemborong Ahmad. Okay, so Pemborong Ahmad, or you can see here. So actually, there's a Pemborong Ahmad at, on 19. Okay, so 19, 
Oh, when the minimum invoice is 2500 okay, then save. Meaning there is no any discount near girl, all right? So we can show we take this figure. If there is a discount near girl, like 10%, then we have to times 10%, minus out, then only we put in the figure. Okay, just like the exercises that we did for the document. All right, so 25th here, we can straight away put the figure, 500. Okay, then 27, general pulangan jualan. I think we don't need to skip up to 10, all right? So 5, 5, I think will be enough. Lah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here... And you do general pulangan jualan lah. Okay, so 27. So June 27. So Inchik Ganesh. So best thing, we fall back to Inchik Ganesh. Okay. So in check, yeah, there is Inchik Ganesh on 23rd. So you go back to 23rd. Is there any discount given to Inchik Ganesh? No. So we don't have in here for 27. We don't need to minus the discount. All right. So here, just write in check. Then 30th, then at Google tonight, donate. So up to here, that's all. That's all now, you just need to clean up. Okay, nice, all so right. So I'm sure you can do something. So, so, yeah. Then hey, Joomla, all right. Nine. Okay, then here, June thirtieth. Okay, so what is this journal Berlin? So here you write, you change the journal to account, so it becomes an account Berlin. Then you skip him until almost here. So this is Berlin. So remember the Abalim that I introduced to you. A B A L H M. So this B for Belanger. It's actually for Belanger, but the B Belanger also Berlin because Berlin is part of the Belanger and is in where? In debit side. Therefore, this account Berlin is in debit side. So you bracket DT and you jump bracket. Online double line because it's a Juna. The same thing goes with this one. This one. This one. So that's it. Count Juna. So, Jalan is actually in Hasil. Okay? Jalan is Hasil because income, ah, right? When you sell, sales, income, and Hasil is the income. So, it's in the credit side. Therefore, this is in credit. Easier. Account Berlin is debit. Then, op Jalan is opposite of Berlin, ah, right? So, if opposite of Berlin, then it will be credit. Uh, so that's how you, you can remember. Okay. Sometimes you might confuse yourself. I don't know. So then you do the same thing for the, the rest. Uh. Okay, then this one. But yeah, so then it's easier, right? Come. 
account pulangan belian. So nah, if belian is debit, pulangan belian opposite of belian. Correctly. That's the way how uh, I remember uh, last time I was doing this accounting. This one, same thing to get. Come, pulangan, jualan. So now, if you already know that jualan is credit, then pulangan jualan, opposite of jualan, that be low. So that's it for your this uh channel. Okay, or not? if okay, give me okay in the chat box. Done, give me done. Okay, give me done. Okay, done ready, give me a done. So like that is com uh, considered done. Play all this part, bam, 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 and it's done. I tell you, if exam, you can do the whole thing like this on up to here from the top general arm, some by the back end here, and with all the, the total and then the credit debit. Oh, I tell you, it's, a, it's good enough already. Okay. So meaning up to here, you are actually on track. Uh, then later on, we will learn about ledger. We add on to it. Slowly, we stack up, stack up, and then go to Imbangan Duga. And then from Imbangan Duga, then we move on to Account Bodegan, Untung Ugi, and Penyata Kedua Kauan. All right, so the rest, are you done? So this is the final answer for it. Okay. So if done, Munya, then give me done. Only these people done, the rest. Okay, so I give it here. So I give you another one minute to complete. If you haven't done yet, then take photo. Lah. Okay. Maybe I make it smaller so that you can see the whole thing. Get it. Okay, you see? All right, even in one minute. Hey, yeah, seems like today we can't end to open a Rima Anna. Can open Rima Anna per buyer and so on. Seems like it's okay. We are still on track. So then we will. Then we'll do general penerimaan and pembayaran tunai on next class now then. So next class, I will show you cover penerimaan, pembayaran tunai, and also buku tunai. Okay, by the way, this one done already or not, everyone? Okay? So if done, give me a two. So those already type done, we need to give me two again. Just to double confirm, everyone is done. Because this is very important. A uh, lot of form five students day to day still don't get this thing done correct. All right. So sorry, Kosha. The rest, the rest quickly, even though you already uh entered the done, give me a two again just to double confirm everyone put in a two. Okay, okay. So two, 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 two. All right. So uh, before I end the class, yes. Okay. Then we'll go. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so look at here. Ah, a bit messy. Okay, so look carefully here. So you see that actually journal has right. There are another two uh, journal that I haven't mentioned, which I will teach in next class, supposedly today, but uh, I take too much of time to explain the, the stuff just now. So that after this class, I won't, I think I won't go there again, right? Because that question actually uh, consists of all different types of questions for the same thing, all right? So next time you just do more questions and then you get familiar with it, all right? So now, you know, I'm already done. All these are actually done, but you see this are not two things in the general house. And let me tell you now that we actually hardly use journal penerimaan tunai and pembaran tunai. Why? Because instead of using these two, we actually use buku tunai. Now you know why like, we hardly use this. And I don't really mention about this, but just in case they will ask this question. You know, so make sure you just know what the format is like and then how to record for it. It's very important. You have to know. You know, I remember um, just after SPM, after my phone 4.5, I did my STPM. Okay. So after SPM, I did my STPM. So STPM is at form 6. Uh, okay, if you know, form 6 is actually equivalent to A levels. All right, so in STPM, same as A levels, you need to take four subjects. Okay, so in these four subjects, I did maths, economics, accounting. Another pengajian arm is something like a general studies. In this pengajian arm, you learn all about the, how Malaysia works and the government and then the parliament, that one right here. Okay, so these are all that we will learn in the pengajian arm if you are going to the SCBM form 6 uh, in your future. Okay, but back to the accounting. So actually for this SCBM, right, uh, they, they have three semester. Okay, they, it's not an SPM. SPM is like you learn form 4, form 5 and then uh, in your form 5 December then or now it's actually in March. And so you one shot, you cover all the form 4 and form 5 syllabus in one exam. But then for STM, they break down to three semester. So for semester one, you learn everything and then you, you do your exam for semester one. And then semester two, and semester three. And I still remember this thing because that is in semester one. Semester has two. Okay, for my SBM. All right. So actually, to be honest, when I come out to SBM, the semester one, uh, all the things that I learned in SPM, STPM, this level I'm talking about, STPM, semester one, are all covered in the SBM. So when I go to S semester one, is actually I know everything really. Lah. Okay. Someone at that time I started teaching accounting some more. So I actually like all these things are running my head already. So at that point, okay, then you know the, the semester one, what question did come out or not? They came out journal penerima antunayo. This one, this one you're seeing it. And because we're doing the same question now. So other students, my classmates, they actually couldn't do this question. Why? Because it is too tiny part in the SBM that a lot of students, they neglected it. They overlook it and they don't give much attention to, to it. In fact, they spend more attention to those big, big questions. Okay, like they think will come out normally and it's quite complicated, those, those type of questions. But then it came out as simple as this, journal premium tonight. Luckily, that time I really started teaching tuition and I really know the format for general premium tonight and I know how to record it. Therefore, my result came out and then of course I got A la, for the semester one, but other students, a lot of them like fail, got donkey, and then they need to receipt, uh, retake the paper again. So what is the moral of this story? Meaning 
every part of this accounting, you, you just need to know. Okay, you must at least know them. You don't have to memorize all of them, but just to know then so that when the exam question comes up, you know how to do. Do you understand or not? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. All right, so this is to, to remind you that all this little tiny thing, you better don't, uh, don't overlook it. Like, later we learn about it as well. So that is like small part that a lot of people will overlook it. But actually, if it comes out, it's very easy to score. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's almost time. All right. But before that, give, let me give you a uh, homework. But to be honest, today's homework is very, very little because I have planned the homework, but I didn't teach. Uh, hold on. I didn't teach the the general penerimaan tonight and permanent tonight, right? Therefore, uh, your homework is just, you go to page 34. Okay, page 34. And then you do the 25 questions objective. This is for BAP 3, actually. So here is uh, it's like a practice to you to, to remind you, okay, to let you reinforce the, the formulas and uh, the concept in the document BAP. All right? And then that's all. Okay, so this today will be a chill out this week. You just complete these 25 questions. And if you want, maybe in your school questions, I think they'll give you something similar to this. Then you can do your school homework to practice on this. Okay, so later we will do more on this type of questions for your homework. All right, is that all right? If okay, then I will see you in next class. See you guys. Take care. Goodbye.